Hello and welcome to the 23 Podcast Show. Here with David Blair and... Stitch G. And... Freestyle Master. How you doing, guys? Doing good, David. Thanks for having us on the show. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming on. It's a bit of a change for me interviewing you, considering your, your work with Sunny Govern Community Radio. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a change, but I quite like it. I quite good. like being in this side too. Uh, I've watched you being interviewed for the, um, oh, you're on the panel at the We Are All Here sure. night in St. Luke's. It was, a, it was a great night as well, wasn't it? P- a powerful night, uh, David, just bringing people together for such a c- powerful cause to us all, and something as close to us all as a community then, hi. Something I'll never forget. Yep. Um, you should check, that, check out that documentary um, online if you get a chance. Uh, the we Are All Here, it was, it was made in, in memory of, of Lumo. Rest in peace, Lumo. Yep. Rest in peace, wee man. So, uh, this is a venue the bar is that you know quite well as well. I mate. I have graced these halls many a time. It's yep. but never with quite such easy access. <laughs> ah, well, that's true. That's true. How many times have you played here? Ah, a few, man. A few. Maybe, maybe about ten. Ten. Maybe. It maybe, could maybe, be. Maybe, it maybe, could maybe, be. Maybe, maybe, about that, maybe about there. Nice, nice. What's what's been your highlight? Would you say? I'd say the one we used last year. Right. Aye, the musicians against, against homelessness. homelessness. Every other time we came, we were we were always a support act for a bigger act. And anybody that's out there and they, they've done all the big support slots and that, you, you quickly realise that nobody's there to see you. They've bought a ticket to see this guy and as far as they're concerned, you're holding them up for seeing that guy right. who's not even in the building yet, but they don't know that. Yep. So we've had to... Don't get me wrong, we've always had fantastic experiences. We've always been doing very, very well with the support as the support act, yep. but to play that night as part of the headline thing, it, it was just it was a different energy. It was in the building that night. It was all for a good cause. It was, with it. and keep that cause going. By the way, musicians against homelessness. And it's not just musicians; it's every single one is. We should be doing something to try and help people run about. Is even if that's just when you buy something at the shop, give them your change. Know what I mean? Just put your change in the wee jar or something like that. Just. There's all these tiny things we can all do Definitely. that don't affect us in a big way, you know what I mean? Definitely. Uh, well, well done again for playing it. It was some night. Um, fantastic cause. Hopefully there'll be a few more of them going on. We, we did um, did a live at festival in Cope Bridge there recently. Ah, cool, um, man. So there was some money raised there for Musicians Against Homelessness and there'll be a few more of those gigs on throughout the year. So uh, you guys have got a, a big project coming up. Uh, extreme, extremely big, David. Uh, a project that... Uh, I've been dreaming of for a while, been working on for a long time, and it feels like a dream It's almost coming out, coming out this week. Tell us about it, what's happening? It's called uh, The Air In Between. I can only liken it to a hip-hop rap musical. If I was saying anything, it's a series of short stories in a book, but through rap, through visual, and this time I've got an orchestra to sort of emphasise emphasize some of the, the colours and the, the music in the palette. That I'm wanting to, I want people to experience from it. It's called the, the air in between, but I don't want to say too much detail about why it's called that because yep. spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. But it's three short stories. It's actually from a series of twelve short stories, but this is this is part one. Three short stories that sort of intertwine with each other through almost a hundred years, and keeping it relevant and keeping it. It means something to, to us right now, going through this Brexit stuff, going through the whole migration thing, going through the whole struggles. So, yep. I don't, don't want to say too much, but check it out. And it's, um, it sounds brilliant. And I don't want to swear on your podcast, but I nearly did there saying it. <laughs> no, it's all right, you can't <laughs> Bloody, bro- bloody no, brilliant. No, no holds barred. If you want to say a fuck in there. And then I, norm- I normally don't big my stuff up like that, but whew, it sounds incredible, man. The rappers have just brought something crazy to it. I think they've all brought their best stuff. Um, Music's amazing. The orchestra, they're just going to take what I've done and play it and bring that life to it. And that's like a dream for me. Mm. That, that, that's, I can't wait to, wait for that. Well, you, you might not want to big up your own stuff, but the, the Freedom Frequency, that was uh, my favourite album. Was 2016, was it, it came out? Uh, 17. 2017. 2017. Uh, I, uh, plenty out there earlier on as well. Um, the best I've ever heard from you is, anyway, or my favourite album from you guys. Um, Thank you. So, uh, are you, you're welcome, Mr. Are you emceeing throughout this whole album? No, I'm just, I'm part of a cast of five right. people. There's myself, uh, Solar Eye, Mr. Dr. Dave Hook. Dr. Do you know Dave what I mean? Hook. As we all know. Dr. Hip Hop. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we've got CCTV, and that's some young guns for Power Cup. 
And if anybody saw us the last wee while, they'll have saw us on stage and the two boys in the balaclavas. Aye, yep. That's CCTV, so we're oh, going to okay. let them take their masks off soon. Right, okay. And let people see their face. Unmasked no, I mean, from they, the public. Maybe we should. Maybe no. I don't think we should <laughs> stay, no. Uh, but they've got some fire on it. And then there's Empress as well, who brings the feminine touch to it. Good. And basically... She was on the Freedom Frequency as well, wasn't she? Empress was on the Freedom She was on the first song, the Freedom That's Frequency. Right, uh, fire rapper. But the... CCTV, Empress and myself have all got roles to play right. within this. Okay. I.e. characters. Yep. So, uh, Dave Hook is like... He's like God in this, if you want to call it. He's seen it all. I, I he's he's, he's Dave. Yeah, Dave's telling us what's going on. Dave's the narrator. Right. Dave has the story Okay. That, that's expressing this. And it was actually very clear, if I can speak just very briefly without getting too much away as well, but the the character that I was presented with, I was gave a, a, an outline for something today, and it meant an awful lot to me because it had a lot of really, really personal yep. family uh, links. Yeah, resonant themes. Uh, re- resonant right. themes all the way through it. And I've got to confess this, and I'll say it on your podcast because, man, it's all peace, love, and mustard and all that about here, right? Yeah. I actually wept as I was writing all these songs. And I remember before I was going out to the studio, I had to wrap it and rewrap it and rewrap it in the house because I couldn't get past certain points of the song without kind of welling up. Mm-hmm. I did an anti died that week. But it, it's it's threw up a lot of things. Really, really personal to myself. And it's today with themes of isolation, exile, loneliness, economic struggles. And the big thing that affects every single... There's only one thing that affects us all on this planet, and it doesn't matter what you are. If you're a carbon-based life form, you can kind of... If it's a tree, anything. And that's time. Yep. Time is the one thing that we can never escape from. Right. Time will always catch us in the end, and that's the, the underlying theme through this. Is time, you know what I mean? And the perception of time. The perception of time, right. David, because time might move on. Time, things might change. We might have fancy technology. We might have different clays. But we're living the same struggle that somebody was living 500 years ago in Cyberian Mind. Yep. We'll always have that struggle, that quest for identity right. and that quest to belong somewhere. Those emotions are timeless as well, aren't they? Exactly, mate. Emotions exactly. and needs. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Yes, man. Yeah, I know a lot about that. Um, it's a concept album. Um, concepts are deep on it. Layers are deep on it. Is this the came from your idea yeah, or the genesis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the, 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 the genesis, the the genesis for, is a good word. Um, maybe the idea for a year and a half. Before I started to actually think we could get the project happening. Um, yeah, it's concepts, it's layers, it's intricate, it's Glasgow, it's the story of a city coming together and being, fighting adversity, assuming adversity. For me, it's the salmon swimming up the stream. Salmon doesn't know what it's doing that for. And there's a bit of that in the air in between too. Okay. Uh, when can we see it? You can listen to it. Oh, 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 you can, you can, can see it, it. You can see it. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. You can see it on the Thursday the 28th this week. Yep. Fairfield Workman's Club, Miller Govan in the community. An absolute amazing venue. Another iconic venue, actually, in Glasgow. Doesn't get used a hell of a lot. Real cheap drink, too, <laughs> which is quite cool. Working men's club, usual, aren't they? Social yeah, club. And, then, and then the following night, Friday night in here, Barlands. Yes, and that's with the orchestra? With the, both of them with the orchestra. Barlands with my man Loki supporting. So yeah, incredible night, big lineup, and um, make sure you're there, people. Don't miss it. Where, where can they get tickets? Just through the event. On a, a, event bright page. Eventbrite. Um, that's the only place. We're not selling tickets face to face or nothing like that. It's just too much drama and too much work. And yep. understandable. Yeah, understandable. We need to keep a track of numbers, and we don't want people being disappointed on the night. Could so. pay in the night though. Maybe pay on the door if there's any tickets left. But get online now. Check out the event bright. The air in between Thursday and Govan and Friday. Here in the Barras, um, it will be amazing. I, I hope there's more uh, showings of it um, after this one. Well, there's talk of um, Edinburgh Festival. That would be great. And Celtic Connections. F- fantastic. And I'm also speaking to Scottish Youth Theatre about doing a hip-hop musical in the near future. So I'm just putting it on record so the universe knows it as well. Yes, it's Before out there now. steals these ideas, David. <laughs> it's out there now. Let it manifest into being. Guys, thanks very much. Uh, we're going to have a performance from... Davey and hopefully a, a wee special collaboration. Uh, thanks so much, guys. I hope it goes very You're well. Welcome. Catch up with you soon. Thank you, David. Cheers. All the best, man. Cheers, bro.